This isn't something that I've like wanted to talk about on my channel before, but this has been going on for 11 months now and no one has any idea what's happening or why it's happening. Hello there, my beautiful, lovely, delightful, and talented internet friends. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me here today. In today's video, I wanted to share with you some things that I haven't really talked about that have been going on in the last year and ask for any suggestions that you might have because I personally am at a bit of my wit's end and doctors seem to be a bit confused as well. With that cryptic intro, uh, back in March, I got really sick, March of 2020. I posted some videos about it. I was really sick for about six weeks and then I got better. Then I got sick again and then I got better. Then I got sick again. And this has been going on for about 10, 11 months now. And for the past week, I have had a fever of 102 to 103 every day. Um, currently have a fever, do not feel well. Uh, but when I go get tests done, when I go see doctors, everything comes back as normal. So I wanted to take today to explain some of the symptoms I've been experiencing and ask you, my lovely community, if you have any suggestions that I could perhaps bring to my doctor. I'm not looking to self-diagnose here, but I also understand that the medical community is a bit overwhelmed right now. And if I can maybe bring some suggestions of what it might be, maybe it can uh, go a little faster to get tested for those things and figure out a way to get better. Back in March, I got uh, real sick. I got sick with a lot of COVID like symptoms, but it wasn't COVID. I had a fever, um, chest pain, shortness of breath, dry cough, exhaustion, fatigue, body aches for about four, four to six weeks. Then I recovered from that, but I never really fully recovered. Uh, I kept getting sick and I kept getting sick. I'd go four weeks and then it would all come back again. The fever, the shortness of breath, chest pain, body discomfort, like my body will just hurt and feel awful and weird. Um, absolutely exhausted, dizzy, fatigued, out of it. And then I'll feel better, then I'll be great. And then two weeks later, I'll spike another fever, it'll all come back. And this has been going on for like 11 months now. Now, most recently, I've had a much higher fever than I usually have. It's been like 102, 103, which is why I am where you see me. I am not at my home presently because we are trying to test for any environmental factors that could be causing this. But thus far, there are no answers. Um, since March, I have been to a lot of respiratory specialists. Everything seems fine. I have had every like basic blood panel and test on the planet run. Everything comes back fine. Most recently this past week, uh, everything started back up. And so I called my doctor and he said I should go to urgent care because of the symptoms I was experiencing. I went to urgent care. As always, they tested me for COVID. I have no joke been tested for COVID 12 times at this point. Um, so it's a fun test, it's a super fun test. They just like get to scrub your brain. That's heavy sarcasm, it's not my favorite. Um, but it's never been COVID, which I'm grateful for. But as soon as I get the result, it's not COVID, it seems like a lot of doctors stop caring about the symptoms I'm experiencing because it's not the pandemic. That seems to be what their minds are occupied with right now, understandably so, I'm not faulting them for that. But as soon as it's like not COVID, it's like I'm no longer really an urgent concern. But this has been going on for 11 months now and no one has any idea what's happening or why it's happening. I have always had a tendency to get sick and when I get sick, I tend to get really sick, which is kind of odd because on paper, I seem to be a healthy person, but I get sick like a lot and this has always been the case. But what's different this year is it's been like the same thing over and over again and no one has any idea what's going on. I'm so tired <laughs> of being sent to urgent care or ER fully knowing they aren't gonna find anything, fully knowing all of the tests that they run, every CT or MRI or X-ray that they do or blood panel that they run is gonna come back saying I'm fine. They're gonna send me home and that's gonna be another few thousand dollars that is out the window because it's important you get checked out if you think something's wrong. But when it's the same thing over and over and over again, I just feel like I'm crying wolf when I walk into the ER. I'm like, here I am, I'm sick, but I know that I shouldn't be here because I've gone through this so many times. So the reason that I'm making this video and my question to you, my lovely internet friends, is to sort of crowdsource ideas for what might be going on. I have no intention of self-diagnosing myself. I want to be able to bring suggestions to doctors and specialists that I am seeing because, like I said, our medical system is overwhelmed and I am not actively at risk of losing my life, right? Like the, I'm not I'm not a huge concern, but I'm not able to live life and I feel like crap 
a lot. So I'm gonna do a quick recap, and if you have ever experienced this, if you have family members or friends who have dealt with something like this and know what's going on, I would love to hear any suggestions in the comment section down below. Number one, recurring generally low-grade fevers that keep coming and going and coming and going. Number two, fatigue and exhaustion. Number three, chest pain, shortness of breath, and or coughing. Number four, body aches and discomfort, specifically abdominal pain. Number five, nausea, loss of appetite, and also muscle weakness. Number six, really palpable heart palpitations, like I feel it every part of my body, just my heart pounding. I can like feel my heart pounding in my eyeballs, which is a, just an interesting experience to have. A quick list of things it is not. I am not dealing with appendicitis. That was suggested, recently tested, we're good there. It is not some kind of chronic lung issue that can show up on an x-ray or a CT, as I've had those along with a breathing test. It's not anemia. It is also not mono. I've had quite a few chest x-rays. I've had abdominal CT scans with contrast. I've had a chest CT. I have had, like I said, all of the basic blood panels, some expanded blood panels, just kind of like all the normal stuff you would check for. This isn't something that I've like wanted to talk about on my channel before, not because I feel like hiding it or anything like that, just because like it comes and it goes, right? Like I get sick, then I'm better, then I think maybe I'm actually better this time, but then I'm not, then it always comes back and I just don't know what's going on. I have a lot of considerations that it might be something that's autoimmune related from my understanding that can generally cause recurring fevers and getting sick a lot and staying sick and, and all of that, but I don't have a name for anything yet. And it's really frustrating not knowing what's going on, um, but feeling very, very crummy and not knowing if there's something that's wrong, that's progressing, that should be treated, if I'm just, if I have the world's worst immune system and I seem to be picking up the same thing over and over again, which I don't think is necessarily likely, but I guess it's possible. Um, yeah, so I appreciate you watching this video. I appreciate you listening this far, um, truly. Thank you. I don't plan on making many more videos about this um, just because I don't feel like talking about it all the time. <laughs> but if you're curious about any updates or anything like that, I generally post more day-to-day -day stuff over on my Instagram stories. So feel free to head over there. But yeah, if you have any suggestions, I'd love to hear them. And I'm very grateful to all of you. Thank you. A really, really gigantic thank you to my Patreon members who have helped support me during a time where I have not been able to work consistently. And again, that's not something I've talked about publicly, but um, your support and by watching these videos uh, is an incredible help to me. So thank you. To you watching this video right now, it means the world to me that you spent some minutes out of your day here with me today. Time is one of the most precious commodities we have. And the fact that you hung out with me for a few minutes means a lot to me. Thank you. I love you guys. I'm thinking about you and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.